What's up guys? Welcome back to another Arc Dev Kit tutorial. So in this video we're going to be looking at painting on your snow layers. Now this is a lot more difficult than I intended it to be. It's not that difficult but um, it's definitely more complicated than the rest of the painting is. Basically what we're going to be doing is instead of using the MI underscore New Island materials for our landscape we're actually going to be switching to a new material which we're going to edit ourselves and add in the snow layers. This will probably undo all the painting you've done to your map, but um, it should just be the painting, the landscaping and all the everything else you've done to it should stay the same, but it will just be the painting that you'll have to redo. But you'll be able to paint the snow layers on top, so, you know, I think it balances itself out. Now I wish I could have showed you guys how to do this in the first video I made about doing landscapes. I'm obviously going to put a link in that video to this one, but... You know, I can't get everything right first time. I'm learning at the same time as you guys. And for example, the snow, I only learned how to do this morning. You know, I've been sitting here looking through the island and all the materials and had to work it out, basically. So let's get on with it. This shouldn't be too much of a long video. Uh, and there will be annotations on screen to help you guys with linking up stuff in the editors as well. So let's get on with it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder in our tutorial map. And we're going to call it landscape material that's just where we're going to put all of our materials the new ones that we're going to be making so they get cooked into the mod when we export it So now let's go back to the materials and then we're going to make a copy of the mi underscore new island put that in the folder And we're also going to make a copy of the mm underscore new island. We're going to drag that into here as well. We're just going to rename them by hitting F2 on them. Obviously, it's very important to rename things as it means you know what you're looking at. And also, it's a quick way of saving something as well. So Okay, so now we're going to open the MI material, which is the material instance, and we're going to set the parent of it. So the, I guess you could say controlling material, do this one here. Let's click this little arrow and that'll load that up. That's all we need to do in this one. So we're just going to save it and close. Okay, guys, so now we've got our two materials in here. We're going to go back to where the original ones were located and we're going to do a search for snow. So we're looking for mm underscore snow biome. Here we go. Let's open that up. And this is what we're going to be copying the snow information from. Let's just expand that a little bit. And then we can see here. These are our layers here for the snow. We're just going to be taking the layer snow and the height snow. And then this is the little bit of layer information for the snow as well. Let's just move that over to the side. And we're going to go back up to our new material. Let's open that one up as well. Here we go. So, we're going to head over to the snow biome one. And what we have to do is just check what all these bits are connected to. So, the only bits we're interested in really are these two side connections here. We've got the two here, and one there, and one there. So, these are the only bits that we're interested in because. I've already checked and they're the bits that connect to the important ones. Scroll over to this here and you can see we've got arc distance factor. That's an important one. I will display on the screen when we're connecting this up in a minute where everything goes so you don't have to just listen to me saying it and you'll be able to see on the screen. And then here we've got the switch on true and that's going into layer snow. And then we've also got one coming from mask A into height snow. So as we're just doing the one snow layer, that's all that matters really, is those two there. And none of the others really connect to anything important. So what we're going to do is select this snow area here and copy it with Command C, Control C, sorry. And then we're going to go into our main material that we've just made. Scroll out a bit and you can see these are all the existing levels that we've painted. And let's scroll down. Here we go. And let's just click and paste. There we go. So it's pasted our snow level in now. Move this up a little bit to keep it nice and organized. And now we've just got to make the rest of these connections. And then we're pretty much on our way there. So let's 
check. So this is the arc distance factor here. I'm just going to move this down so it's a bit closer. Makes our lives a little bit easier. Go, okay. zoom back in. And then we're going to drag from this node here on the end and we're going to connect it to the alpha here. There we go. And then the second one. Drag from there down to the alpha. There we go. So that's those first two connections made. And then we're going to be dragging from mask A and switch true. So let's go and find the layer info. Here it is. Let's drag this one down as well. So before we can drag these ones, there's one last thing we need to do, which is add our two snow layers to this. So we're going to be adding the snow layer and the snow height. So now we're going to make a new element in here. Let's click this little plus icon. And then we've got this one here. So let's call it snow. And we're going to set the blend type to LB height blend. And then that's going to add our two new layers at the bottom, which is what we need. Let's zoom back in a little bit. You can see we've got layer snow and height snow. And then we're going to drag from the true node here to layer snow. And then let's drag from the height all the way over to the mask A. There we go. So those are the only connections we need. I will probably do like a black screen now or something and just display them quickly so you can write them down if you need to. It looks like it's going to be really complicated when you first open this, but really it's not. Once you've done those few little connections, hopefully it should all work fine. So let's now save this. It's obviously really important. And then close it. There we go. So we're back in our world now. Uh, as you can probably see, my computer's not really enjoying doing this. It's do a lot of shader compiling and there's only more to come. So now we're going to open the material instance, which is the MI underscore tutorial map. And then we're going to go back to where the original materials were, were located and we'll do a search for snow again. And we're going to be searching for MI underscore snow biome, so this one here. Then we need to go down to the vector parameter. We're going to expand that and you can see that we've got, this is in the MI underscore snow biome. We've got snow SSA, I think it's SSAO actually, but that is checked here. So then we need to go to tutorial map and check that here. There we go. And that's just to make sure that they match up and that the snow works in this material instance. So let's save that one and close it. So let's select our landscape and in the details tab here, you can see that we've got our two materials. So let's go into our folder with our new materials in it. Select the MI underscore tutorial map, not the MM. It has to be in the material instance. And then click this little arrow here. This may take a second because it is going to have to load it all in again. But just bear with it and I'll bring you guys back. It's done. Okay guys, so that's all done now, and as you can see it hasn't erased our landscape, but that's a pretty good thing. And now let's give the painting a snow a go. So I'll just add a little bit onto the top of this mountain here to make it realistic. So as always, just open your landscape tab and go to paint. Now I don't know if you guys can see this, I've just noticed it isn't actually showing up on my OBS viewer, but it is compiling shaders at the moment, about 2000 of them, so you might have to wait for that for a little bit shouldn't take too long but you will have to sit and wait so yeah i presumed you guys would be able to see that but actually now i'm looking in my um my viewing window in obs i can see it hasn't actually come up so while we wait for that to finish let's just at least try and paint a little bit you can see down here we've got our snow 
but let's assign a layer info for it. Now the reason that these are here but the original layer wasn't is because there is of course snow in Arc. Um, and so these snow layer infos did actually exist in the game already. We just had to make this layer in order for them to show up. So let's select this. Make our brush a little bit smaller. And we'll just paint some onto the top of this. Now of course this isn't going to show up as snow because we are compiling at the moment. So I'll give it a little while and I'll let it sort itself out and I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, welcome back. Here you go. You can see we're standing on our snow at the moment. Yeah. Um, well, we were standing on our snow. Alright, let's give that another go, shall we? Here we go. So, if we run up here, you can see that we've got our snow that we've painted on. It's looking rather nice. For some reason, I cannot climb this hill today. Okay, there we go. So, you can see we've got our nice little snow kind of dotted on here. Um, I will cover in my next video actually how to make biomes. So that will be the lighting and the temperatures for the different biomes which will be very useful for this as well because obviously you can't have snow if it's not cold. Uh, but for now that's going to do for this video because I think this has turned into quite a long one. But I hope this has helped you guys out a little bit. And of course you don't have to do it exactly like this. Have a play around with it and make it your own. But for now, I hope this video did help you guys out. And if it did, be sure to leave a like and comment if you have any questions as well. And then I will see you guys in the next video.